Hello guys, we are on the <coughs> third game of the Italian g openings and uh, in this game white cleverly attacks black and this game is like the previous uh, game, the, like the second game the uh, white goes in the same uh, setup and black here cleverly takes the fi knight which is the main attacking piece but let's see how in the end black closes so e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 knight and bishop c4 bishop c5 and c3 knight f6 d3 d6 bishop b3 a6 h3 bishop a7 knight bd2 castles knight f1 d5 and queen e2 d takes e4 d takes e4 and queen e7 knight g3 bishop e6 bishop c2 rook f8 and uh, here even knight e8 can be put and after that knight h4 knight queen f8 and uh, and if at all queen c5 then bishop g5 comes so queen f8 and knight h f5 knight e7 bishop g5 and bishop takes f5 black takes the f5 knight which is the main attacking piece here uh, but after that the pawn is lodged on f5 and it is uh, one of the main attacking piece here it is supported by the c2 bishop and after knight ed5 long castles h6 bishop h4 queen c5 and uh, the white bish light squared bishop of white is uh, very strong in this game <coughs> knight e4 queen c6 and uh, bishop b3 and bishop b3 is put to control the long diagonal and to control the f7 pawn uh, it is the weak pawn in the black side and after knight f4 knight takes f6 queen takes f6 and queen g4 queen c6 and f6 now this is the key move here the blockading move and after queen takes g2 bishop g3 g5 g5 queen d7 uh, rook f8 and bishop takes f4 g d e takes f4 and queen f5 and now rook fd8 then queen g5 g6 check i think it's game over here the king can't escape from the mate so i hope you would have liked the game guys i'll meet you in the next game thank you all